Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week we're in Round Top, Texas. Although people refer to it as Round Top Antique Week, it actually comprises 27 miles along Highway 237. Included in those 27 miles are the towns of Burton, Carmine, Round Top, and Warrington. Only two venues charge admission, the Big Red Barn and Marburger Farm. This is the first stop of a two-day trip out to Round Top. This first location is called The Venue. It's located at 2000 North Highway 237 in Round Top. There are multiple buildings with multiple dealers, each carrying something unique. Here we are. This is one of my favorite places to stop. Look at all of it. This portion of the building is run by Larry, Diane, Carol, and Gary. They deal in estate finds and they always have a great selection of estate jewelry. I always make sure to stop here because I do tend to find a lot of good items to add to my Etsy shop. Make sure that if you come out this way, you stop by as well. They have a great selection. So this is my quick little car haul from the first stop at the venue. I have some Trafari, there's some Berger and Marie Farah. Um, also, I got this Juliana Thiveling bracelet. It's super sparkly and pretty. And also I found a Castle Cliff bracelet that's here in this bag somewhere. This is our second stop of the day. This is McLaren's Antiques and Interiors. They're at 1745 North Highway 237 in Round Top. They have over 20,000 square feet. They have a huge selection of antique and reclaimed industrial. I want to take this time to mention that not all venues are open year-round. Some are only open during the spring and fall shows. Now is a good time to mention that I'm here with my friend Amy. She is opening up a shop in Hamilton, Texas, and that shop is called Black Sheep Mercantile Company, so keep an eye out for that. Hi, Amy. Guys, the store goes on forever. Look at these awesome doors. I'm gonna back up so you can get the full effect. Both doors, transom, and these awesome shutters up here too. This place just keeps on going, y'all. This is only our second stop of the day, too.
This is the Garden Company. It's where we stop to have lunch. It's located on Rummel Square in Round Top. They also have a small gift shop next to the restaurant, but we did not go in there this time. It's called Garco Goods. The restaurant does have indoor seating, but since the weather was nice, we opted to sit on the patio. They have a great selection of appetizers and sandwiches. And of course, you need a margarita because shopping makes you thirsty. After lunch, it was time for our next stop. This is Excess. It's at 3907 Texas 237 in Round Top. They actually have two locations, Excess 1 and Excess 2. They're on either side of the road from each other. Between the two locations, they have more than 50 vendors. They have some antique dealers, designers, and architectural salvage. If you're looking for it and you can't find it here, maybe it just doesn't exist. Excess One does have a food vendor on site. They also serve beer and wine. It's towards the back left corner of the location. All right, you guys, I don't even know how many stops we've made at this point, but I'm at Bar W Field in Warrington. This is one of my favorite places. They have free parking, it's free admission, and they have a lot of dealers here. This is at the very back in the parking. We have a long way to go and a lot to see. Bar W has over 100 dealers. It's in the middle of a cow pasture. Make sure you remember where you parked. Bring a wagon so that you don't have to haul your purchases back and forth to the car. Bring a lot of water. Bring some snacks. They do have a food location there. It's very limited. Here I am digging, getting my hands dirty so you don't have to. If I haven't already mentioned it, everything is gravel. You're walking around in fields. Don't wear open-toed shoes. Wear some sturdies. Seriously, people, this has been here at least two years. Bar W, I don't know which vendor this is. Don't one of you need this really cool elephant slide? Kids, grandkids, you want to be somebody's favorite, aunt or uncle? Buy him a slide. Across the highway from Bar W is Stone Meadow, where they have a lot more vendors set up, so make sure you stop there as well. Stone Meadow does have a beer stream trailer and they have a pizza truck. They also have live music. It's a great place to take a break. Day two starts us off at the compound in Round Top. This is where we're taking a look at some things for Amy's soon to be mercantile. Isn't she beautiful? She is in a portion of the barn that is run by Old World Antiques. They actually have a permanent location in LaGrange so you can shop year round. 
The compound is 50 plus acres. They're a special event center. I believe they're around two miles from downtown Round Top. Not only do they host vendors during Antique Week, you can host weddings there, conferences, all kinds of things like that. This booth was really cute. It's all vintage barware. It's run by a girl named Chris. Here's her business information. She does have an Instagram. I did buy some things from her. Can't wait to use them. Another shop at the compound. It's called Pascal Home. These are great interior design pieces. Alright, you guys, wait until you see this. Look at how gorgeous. All the lights. If industrial is your thing, this is where you need to go. Industrial, not your style? Why not French antiques? Antiquaire of France. Amy and I probably spent three plus hours at the compound and I guarantee we did not see everything. This is our first stop of day two in the fields. This is in Warrington and this location is called the House on the Hill. This is the Campbell Building in Warrington. There's a lot of great vendors here in this building as well. Day two, last stop of the day. Can't possibly shop anymore. We are at the Bull Market in Warrington. Doors, chandeliers, industrial. This is only one small portion of it. All right, you guys. I hope you're ready to see something funny. This is Amy's truck. This is how much is jam-packed in the back. This is what we got going on back here. And there's still more. It's in there. Will it make it home? Part two. <laughs> All right, everyone, day three in the Round Top area. Today, we're starting off at Junk Gypsy. Some of you may be very familiar with them. They started off junking and repurposing things, making super cute items. So this is going to be our first stop. Junk Gypsy is open year round. They're located just on the outskirts of Round Top. During Antiques Week, they have food trucks set up out on the lawn and they have live music. Wow, you guys, who wouldn't love to have this as their bedroom? Also day three at Round Top, we're hitting a building that we did not get to on day two. I think it was day two. And this is at the compound. 
this is their white barn. such a good price. Guys, with all this gorgeous vintage French designer jewelry, I feel like you can almost hear my heart beating out of my chest while I'm filming this. So many great things. Thought I was going to hyperventilate here for a second. As if the jewelry wasn't cool enough, there's a champagne vending machine. Day one, we had hit excess one. Today is day three. I'm minus Amy. We're hitting excess two. I'm with my friend Elizabeth today. They have a bunch of garden things and for some reason while I'm looking at this there's another YouTuber that I watched that was maybe looking for something like that. I'm trying to think of who it was. Was it you, Laura Caldwell? Some more great mid-century. This kind of look like George Nelson. Those are awesome. That room divider back there is pretty spectacular. Cool lamps. All right, this is also day three, back in Warrington. Gonna hit up the Campbell building over there across the street after lunch. Lunch is Kenny's store, it's upstairs. Quesadilla, chips and queso, burgers, they have beer and wine and margaritas also, music downstairs. That was my video on the Round Top Antique Week Spring Show. There is another one in October, so I'll be filming that one as well. I hope you'll come back and take a look at that one. In the meantime, I'll be filming some videos on thrifting, making jewelry, repairing jewelry, and I hope you'll like and subscribe so that you're notified when those videos come out. Thanks for watching.